Good limit of fish right there. It's going to go 1725. 1725, guys. Good bag of fish. 1589. 1589, guys. Good job. They go 1723 on a limit for y'all. Gets y'all up there inside the top 10 at the moment. Get some water on them. Get your picture made. Started started off really good. We caught a three pound smallmouth at right after takeoff, and then we caught a lot of shorts. But it took all day to get a limit. We got two good ones, but we fell short of a limit. But overall, we can't complain with how it went, especially with throwing a blade. So uh, we had a good day today. We uh, we fished shallow pretty much all day, and uh, we caught our last keeper at 244. New leaders of the tournament. First bag over 20 pounds. 2087. Rudy and Fisher. Rudy Worley and Fisher Overton from Blue Mountain Christian University weigh in a five bass limit for 20.87 pounds. That mark is good enough for first place at the moment as it's the first limit to eclipse the 20 pound mark so far. We found some fish and we didn't really know if they would bite uh, come tournament day. And uh, you know, it was, it's been tough out there, but they, they'll bite and uh, you know, they, they're pre-spawn and post-spawn fish, so we're getting a little bit, they're moving up the spawn and coming out, and then we're catching the fish that are coming up. And, you know, it's it's a good deal. I just hope it lasts till tomorrow. A couple anglers from top rank Montevallo making their way in here. Charlie and Logan with five. Coming up, guys. Five good ones. Good limit right here. New leaders of the tournament, 2174. We're going to try the big fish real quick and then we'll hold up the limit. I believe it was 590 on the big fish. It's a good one. Can do that as well, 601. Charlie Wright and Logan Pluger from number one ranked University of Montevallo take the day one lead with 21.74 pounds. Rudy Worley and Fisher Overton from Blue Mountain Christian University are in second. And with the day one weight of 19.71 pounds, Central Alabama Community College anglers Jackson Kelly and Braden Pritchard are in third. Well, uh, we don't really know what to expect today, but it ended up being pretty good. Uh, we lost a big one that would have helped us. But there's more there, so we're going to try to catch them tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, overall, it was a great day uh, catching them in the grass and going to hope for the best tomorrow, so we'll see.